Yo, top of the morning, man. Top of the morning. It's big L's in this bitch here. You dig as bad as a dog. Real quick, bro. Real quick, because we about to get straight to the beans and rice. You ready? Yo, it's crazy, bro. Shit be crazy, bro. You feel me? Like, perception is a motherfucker. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. Perception is a motherfucker, but it all makes sense now. When I'm talking about this, y'all ready to type, you feel me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jay Moore and Ace I mean. But I want to be the one to point this out, bro, because I'm a I, I, I pride myself in being a authentic individual, you feel me? And being a, a real dude, you feel me? Like, and I was one of those people that did a video. I blogged on it. A couple minutes, you feel me? I talked a little bit about it, but but I was definitely one of those people who propagated that Jay Moore was scared to death. And that Ace I mean ran down on that nigga, made him apologize. And now I ain't really harped too much on him, him running down on him and 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 and, and scaring him into getting on video and apologizing. I was I was more so commending Ace I mean for not like 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 carrying it. A, a totally different way you feel me because i feel like he could have really dragged at the moment i felt that way not really knowing the situation in its true detail so now i want to spin a block and put it all in perspective because like i said bro it's crazy how something could look one way and really be the totally opposite that shit is still you know, the brain bro the brain is powerful bro and perception perception is everything because when we seen that video everybody in that mother thought that Ace I mean walked up on Jay Moore and said nigga turn your camera on apologize for what you did I mean apologize for what you said about me publicly or I'm gonna slap the shit out you that's that's the way it was perceived now I don't I don't feel like like the like the public, the people, you know, the bloggers and the fan. I don't feel like we're completely wrong for perceiving it that way because we only got a fucking a uh, 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 small clip of Jay Moore apologizing and and, and and saying shit like, "Yeah, y'all ain't see how he was bought the boy." I thought he was he made it seem that way, but nonetheless, Jay Moore went on. He went on. Um, he went on 15 Minutes of Fame. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Debo. You know, he did the, uh, Big Homie show and he broke it all down and he put it in perspective. That's why I said it all makes sense now. Now it makes sense why Ace I Mean wasn't wilding. Why he wasn't beating on his chest. Why he wasn't disrespecting him and trying to make him seem less than a man on camera. Why he wasn't bitching him? Why he wasn't like, yeah, like, it all makes sense now. Why, shit, even why Jay Moore was being, you know, so polite and, like, it all makes sense. So, to, 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 uh, to give y'all a synopsis of what happened without missing any details, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, okay, so, they was at a battle rap event, right? They was at a battle rap event. Ace, I mean... Seeing Jay Moore coming out the venue to go to his car to get some weed. Ace I mean was talking to P. Ace I mean said, There he go. So they was already talking about him. He walked up on Jay Moore and said, Bro, how are we gonna handle this situation? How are we gonna handle you feel me? We pretty much we can handle it however you wanna handle it. Like I guess that's that's how Ace I mean carried. He gave niggas the option how they wanna handle it, and this was confirmed by Debo. Something was said to the effect of uh I, I guess they came. They both came to the conclusion, like in a, in a timely manner, that that shit is stupid. You feel me? We ain't got beef. That shit dumb. Like let's let's let's. You feel me? Did the shit? It's I mean, asked them like, do you remember what you said to me? I guess he said, yeah, I remember what I said and what I did to you. Now he clarified what he meant by what he when he said like what I did to you, meaning like. The nigga, he poured the ratchet out. He poured the Jimmy out, bro. You feel me? He poured the ham out on him. Prep talked about that. That's that's like kind of like the running joke in like the battle rap community behind the scenes. Like Jay Moore pulls guns out and don't do shit with him. Like he just, you feel me? He 
we ain't got to get into all of, y'all know, you feel me? If I know, and I don't even be at events, I'm just a blogger, you feel me? And I'm from Baltimore. I'm pretty sure a lot of you niggas know, because a lot of y'all be going to events, you you feel me? Y'all be in these group chats, y'all be in these spaces, y'all know what the fuck is going on, man. We, it, 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 but there's a reason why him and Twerk was beefing. You feel me? It drugs and everybody else, bro. But I think it had, I think it kind of started with this Ace I mean shit. But they was beefing because they was fucking arguing in a group chat about something. He said he don't even remember what they was arguing about. And they was making threats toward each other. And every time they seen, seen each other, it escalated. But this, the one day he talking about is, uh, they was at an event. They seen each other. It was a bunch of them. It probably was a few of him. He felt like they was going to jump him. He whipped the he whipped the Jimmy out. You feel me? He whipped the Jimmy out, and I don't know if he fired in the air. I don't know what he did, but nigga Ace I mean didn't take too kindly to that. So he felt a certain type of way about that. You hear me? So boom, but the, the, the beef kept the beef kept escalating. So this particular day, they, they was like Ace I mean was just ready to squash, and he was just tired of. All the dumb shit. Jay Moore, I'm pretty sure he been ready to squash it. He ain't get booked for battles. You feel me? He not letting him in the venue. You get what I'm saying? Like, he been ready to squash it now. So, they, they went into the... They, he Ace left, came back. They was in a bar area. And Jay Moore decided to put it on camera. He, Ace, I mean, didn't ask him to to publicly apologize on camera like certain niggas is like that bro most when you have real issues you don't give a fuck about how the how the public perceives something you feel me you want to handle it between you and that person whoever that person may be as long as y'all squash y'all beef and the issue is handled who gives a fuck what the public the public think or how they perceive the situation to be or whenever they see us talking to each other or hanging together like how they look at us like who gives a fuck we mean you know what it is so ace i mean didn't want to put the shit on camera he chose to put it on camera now his reason for putting it on camera is because he was tired of he he wanted he wanted the battle rap world to know specifically leads to know that there is no beef between him and Ace I mean if Ace I mean or any of the Goonies or anybody you know that's associated with twerking them is booked on a card you can also book me on that same card we have no beef y'all don't have to worry about nobody getting shot y'all don't have to worry about no cars getting shot up y'all don't have to worry about nobody fighting none of that goofy shit you can it's safe to book me. And twerk and ace on the same card. So that was his reason. You feel me? That was his motive behind wanting to do the video. He probably didn't think it was going to backfire on him. Because he, like he said, he was just joking when he was like, y'all see how this nigga just pushed up on me. Like, you, you feel me? Like, now, now to, the, to, to somebody who's just seen this video, who don't know all of what he broke down on Debo's show, it... it and knowing how Ace get down, and it kind of seems like he scared him into doing a video. That's why I said perception is ish fucking crazy. How one, how something can look one way and really be another, bro. That's why. And this is something I gotta also learn too, bro. In practice, you can't always be quick to jump to a conclusion, bro, because you never know. Like, what transpired, what really transpired, bro? Because I ain't gonna lie, I would've, boy, I, I could've bet money that Ace I mean scared that nigga into doing that video. But if that's, that's, that's what I was thinking, and I was totally wrong. And all of us was totally wrong. That's why I felt like I, I owed it to myself, you feel me, into my channel to jump back on a video and try to do, you know, justice by putting it all in perspective. Even though you can go listen to his side of the story on Debo. Big homie show, you feel me? But I just real is real, bro. Like, so I respect what he did. I don't think he's a bitch. I didn't honestly think he was a bitch when that situation happened. I just was curious as to, like, damn, you was just woofing and acting like a whole gangster against fucking um prep. Now Ace I mean making you, you feel me? Apologize. Like I, I was just kind of baffled by that. You feel me? But now it makes sense. He never back. Like, Jay Moore never backed down, bro. He never backed down from Ace I mean. Ace I mean didn't force him to apologize. Like, that was the headlines. He chose to do it willfully. So, shout out to Ace I mean. Shout out to Jay Moore. That's all I got to say, man. It's big L's in this bitch. You mad enough. Hey, bro. Don't always be quick to 
You never know. You never fucking know. She mad enough.